In this video, I'm going to talk about why I think hand cut nails are awesome. And we're going to do it right now. So what is a hand cut nail? Well, it's pretty much very literal. It is actually hand cut. Whereas nowadays, these modern round shank, round head nails are stamped out basically in a factory. These ones are actually hand cut. And the thing that I love about these is they're much stronger and they hold much better. There's been studies that have been done that say that these hold much better than a modern round shank, round head nail. Also a modern nail, because of the shape of it, actually separates the wood. It pushes the wood out as it gets hammered into a piece of wood. Uh, where as a square nail like this, the hand cut, it actually pushes the wood down, which helps with not splitting the wood, also uh, attaches to the nail better. This actually wasn't the original uh, hand cut nail. The original had four sides that were tapered, whereas these ones that I have here only have two sides that are tapered. But these are the most common nails that you'll find that are, uh, that are hand cut. Here's another reason that these are awesome. Now, as you might suspect, if you take a regular nail, it's not made for concrete, but just to show you, if you find a nail and you hammer it in from a board into concrete, I'll show you what happens. That's what happens. It went in a little bit, but then it immediately bent. The great thing about hand cut nails is they are awesome for attaching wood to concrete, as I'll show you. There you go. They're awesome for attaching wood to concrete, like I said. Look at that. And be careful when you do that, because <laughs> they go flying. They're just really solid. Even though these nails are considered super old and they're rusty, they're still awesome. And people actually, there's still companies that make these nails nowadays that you can actually buy them in a store or buy them online. If I find a link, I'll leave it in the description of where you can actually buy these. But the best thing is if you have a, an old house, if you take a wall down, um, really old houses will have these nails in the framing. And I actually ripped up my hardwood floor in my living room. And this is what was holding down the hardwood floor. So anytime I come across nails like this, I'll keep them. I'll sort through them. What will happen is you'll find ones that are bent. You'll find ones that the, the head breaks off uh, or... The bottom of the shaft will break off and you want to just toss those to the side and just keep the ones that are nice and straight. It's fine if they're rusty. Uh, they're just awesome, awesome nails. Just as a little experiment, I'm going to take a modern nail and a hand cut nail about the same size and see if this, um, this wood splitting thing will actually hold up. So I'm going to take this, put it right at the edge and see what happens. This is the modern nail. Look at that. Split. Now on the other side, I'll use a hand cut nail. Same thing in the same location and see what happens. There you go. So basically what I'm saying is if you come across these nails, definitely hold on to them because they're awesome. Uh, they're also, some of them come with uh, a kind of a bigger head that would make a nice finish on something that you're making that's kind of rustic and they just hold way better. I know it's more effort actually hand nailing stuff when you can put nails in a gun and just kind of shoot them together. But um, also the whole attaching wood to concrete uh, those are the only nails I use for that. Uh, they make modern nails that actually attach stuff to concrete, but I just prefer these hand cut nails. So hopefully you found this video interesting. 
If this is your first time, definitely hit the subscribe button. Check out my links below and my Instagram, Facebook, and my Patreon page, which helps support this channel. If you want to see more videos like this, you can click here and hereish. And thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. Appreciate it, guys.